Okay, I'm a practical person, so I think practical tips are always really helpful. Nearly every patient I see with a nasal problem gets some form of relief using a nasal douche. Now, that can be provided via a bottle and a balanced salt solution, or there are a number of aerosolized preparations on the market via the chemist. And if a patient is asked to use these early on, a lot of nasal problems don't necessarily resolve, but they're much easier to manage. The second thing is using nasal sprays and nasal drops and the advice about how to use them properly. A nasal spray needs to be applied into the nostril and then aimed towards the eye on the same side. So it's going this way on this side and this way on this side. Too many patients put the spray in the nose here and all they do is spray the steroid onto the nasal septum and it has absolutely no effect. My third tip, which is really a safety tip, but it's surprising how many patients are not aware, is if they've got problems with their smell, the patient needs to be counselled about gas and smoke alarms for their house. I've had a number of patients come through who've almost had serious fires in their kitchens because they've gone out to the garden to do something and didn't realise that their stove was on fire um, and they didn't have a smoke alarm. They couldn't smell the smoke and the patient needs to be made aware that it's a really important factor in managing their ongoing safety until their problem resolves.